As soon as a child is born, its natural instinct is to seek its mother's breast and begin breastfeeding. Placing your newborn in skin-to-skin -skin contact at your breast in the first hour following birth offers several benefits for your newborn and for you. Skin-to-skin -skin contact helps stabilize baby's temperature, respiratory rate, and blood sugar, and stimulates brain development. It also helps build a bond between you and your baby. Your newborn begins to suckle and gets the first milk, called colostrum, which is rich in antibodies and nutrients. It is sometimes called baby's first immunization. Colostrum helps prevent allergies and infection. Colostrum helps clear the first stool and reduce jaundice. Starting to breastfeed in the first hour after birth is important even if the birth was by C-section. If you have a C-section, you can start breastfeeding as soon as you feel comfortable enough to hold your baby. As you wait, keep the baby with you, preferably in skin-to-skin -skin contact. Ask health workers to show you comfortable breastfeeding positions. Breastfeeding can begin right away in the operating room in most cases. If your baby is born with low birth weight, but not prematurely, you can begin breastfeeding right away. Your baby may need more frequent feedings and may get sleepier while feeding. If your baby is born prematurely, he or she may not be able to breastfeed at first, but may be able to drink expressed breast milk. Every mother can produce enough milk in the first few days after birth. Babies need only a little at a time. On day one, the stomach is about the size of a grape and can only hold about five to seven millimeters at each feed. Your body can easily produce that amount. Small, frequent feeds set a healthy eating pattern. You will know if your baby is getting enough breast milk if he or she passes light-colored urine one or two times on the first day. On the second day, when more milk comes in, a baby will pass urine six to eight times. By the third to fourth day, your baby needs about 22 to 27 millimeters of milk at each feeding. That's the amount that would fill a stomach the size of a lemon. By the tenth day, your infant needs about 60 to 80 millimeters of milk at each feeding. Your body can easily produce this amount, filling a stomach the size of an egg. During these first days, your newborn stomach is designed to digest breast milk easily. Feeding your baby anything before you initiate breastfeeding can pose risks to your baby. Substances such as water, sugar water, honey, and baby formula are called prelactyls. These are risky because your baby lacks the enzymes to digest these. Your baby is more likely to develop food intolerance or allergies. Serious infections may occur. Your baby's stomach is filled up, leaving less room for nutritious breast milk. Breast milk takes longer to come in, delaying establishment of breastfeeding. If prelactyls, like formula, are provided using a bottle, your infant will not be as interested in suckling at your breast because it's easier to get milk from a bottle. With less suckling, you will produce less breast milk. For nine months in the womb, your baby receives all the nutrition needed from your body. After birth, your body continues to produce the best nourishment for the baby and in the right amount.